The pilgrims come from all corners of the globe to the birthplace of Islam. And once in Mecca, they're required to cast aside their differences. Here, participants are to have just one focus, performing the series of ancient rites and rituals which make up the Hajj. Before performing the Hajj, pilgrims must first enter into a state of spiritual purity known as Iram. Men indicate this by wearing special white clothing without stitching. Women dress simply. The preliminary rites are performed in the Masjid al-Haram or Grand Mosque. It's home to the Kaaba, a cube-shaped stone structure covered in embroidered black silk. Muslims pray in the direction of the Kaaba five times a day, and during the Hajj, they circle it seven times in a counterclockwise procession called the Tawaf. Seeing the Kaaba for the first time can be an emotional experience for some. As soon as the Tawaf is completed, the pilgrims are required to drink from the well of Zamzam, an act which symbolizes spiritual refreshment. They then move on to perform the rite of Sai, or running. This is performed a few yards from the Kaaba along a passageway built between two hills. Muslims believe the ritual commemorates the desperate search for water by Hagar, the Prophet Ibrahim's wife. The migration of the masses from Mecca, five miles east to Mina, marks the formal commencement of the Hajj. Now in the desert, they camp out overnight in tents and at dawn make their way another five miles east to the plain of Arafat. This day is spent standing in the open, absorbed in prayer and meditation. The day of standing together before God is the defining ritual of the Hajj. Muslims believe it's a dress rehearsal for the day of judgment. Failure to make it to Arafat by sunset renders one's entire pilgrimage invalid. After sunset, the pilgrims are on the move again, this time heading westwards. The destination is Musdalifah, where they spend the night in the open, collecting stones and meditating. At dawn, they head to a special area in Mina, where three large stone pillars stand. These pillars collectively represent the devil, and during the next three days, the pilgrims will cast their stones and symbolically reject temptation. The first day of Jamarat is also the start of Eid al-Adha, the festival of sacrifice, a major holiday throughout the Muslim world. At some point during the three-day rite, pilgrims are required to return to the Grand Mosque to again circle the Kaaba. A third and final circling of the Kaaba is the last requirement of all pilgrims before they depart Mecca. Many who attend the Hajj save their whole lives to be able to make this challenging spiritual journey. But in spite of the challenges, they continue to come in the millions, striving not only for a deeper relationship with God, but also with each other. Allah Allah. Why should you say CNN Atlanta?